Russell fam, in today's video, I'm going to share with you 26 homeschool field trip ideas. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. Here on this channel, we talk about homeschooling, homemaking, and everything in between. I am a homeschooling mom of two and I have been homeschooling since 2012. We also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. Make sure to check that out. There, I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned through my years of homeschooling. We also have a store. I will leave a link down in the description box if you want to check that out. New products are added weekly. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom. That just lets you know every time we upload a new video. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. As homeschool parents, we are always looking for fun, educational field trip ideas. I know I am just because we get tired of staring at books being in one place. So if I can incorporate a field trip in our, in our homeschool and incorporate it in our everyday lives, anytime I can take something and turn it into a learning experience, I'm going to do it. And let's start with the number one learning experience that every child should know and we take our kids with us. It's to the grocery store. I know you're thinking, what? Field trip? Okay, whatever. But no, I mean, you can educate your toddler. As you're putting apples in the buggy, you have them count. That's an educational thing you're doing and call it a field trip if you want to, but that's part of life. And if you have older children, I have found a way that to give them a budget and say, okay, you have X amount of dollars. You do your research and find out kind of what they need and let them come up with a meal that they are going to cook and they have to buy. You're gonna give them the money, of course, but they have to stay within that budget and they have to figure out, okay, I need these ingredients, this, this, and this, and make it a recipe that they can do that's easy. Let them pick the recipe. If they ask for an ingredient or whatever, tell them what they need, but give them a budget, let them plan a meal, let them buy the meal, let them cook a meal. There you go. There is a field trip and life skills, everything all in one. So that was the first one I wanted to share with you. Now I have a ton of them on this list. So you may see me looking down because I cannot remember all 26 of them but I'm sure there are a ton more out there or ones you can expand on from this. But here's what I came up with when I was sitting down coming up with a list. So the second one I have is a cooking class. I know a lot of um, places offer cooking classes to younger children or you can buy them the subscription boxes where it comes with step-by-step -step things for kids to do um, stem subscriptions and that type of thing so they can cook but there are cooking classes or baking classes out there check your area for them historical places anytime we go on vacation i try to find a field trip to do and it always ends up mostly being a historical field trip whether it has to do with the um, navy base that we've been to or been to the uss alabama battleship or been on a submarine or military park, those type things. So check out historical places in your area or somewhere around. That's an easy, fun field trip that the kids can, out, can get out and do things and experience what they're learning. Science Museum, that, those are awesome. I have been to a science museum that uh, was a space museum that we went to and the kids got to ex use their hands, they got to play with things, they got to make earthquakes, they got to um, experience hurricane force winds when they had to build houses and the houses got knocked down from the hurricane winds and those type things. So that was a fun science experience that they got to do. The next is a news station. I know our local news station will allow groups of children to come in so if you have a homeschool group, get some kids together, go to your local news station. I know when I was little, my brother was the Easter Seals child and I, I was 10 
and I got to go and I got to see him do the 10 o'clock news. I got to see him do the weather and it was just so funny. The thing I remember most about going to the news station was pretty much they were, the guys were dressed from the waist up. The guy that um, I got to see, I think he was the uh, news anchor. He was wearing a sports jacket, a tie, you know, shirt, and then he was wearing like shorts and tennis shoes. So it was the funniest thing ever. But the news station, kids love seeing the green screen that they use for the weather. It totally blows their mind. But if you get a chance, go and do a field trip at your local news station. The next, of course, is the zoo. Who doesn't love the zoo? You get to see so many amazing animals. I know some zoos let you actually pet the animals. So that's fun. You get to feed the animals. And if you're doing a unit study about animals, that is the perfect field trip to incorporate in there. A medical museum. I know there are not a lot of them around. We were on a vacation in Alabama and we came across a medical museum. Now I will leave a link up here or in the iCards to all of the field trips that we have been on. So if you just wanna show your kids some of these and listen to them and talk about them, those type things, um, check those out. But we got to go to a medical museum and see all of the equipment that they used, the utensils that they used, not utensils, but the tools that they used, operating stuff. We got to see how they cleaned them. It was just so interesting. I loved it just as much as the kids did. It was so, so interesting. So if there's a medical museum anywhere close to you, make sure to check that out. Um, the next one, I said marine life. Well, that can be if you're on vacation at the beach, that the kids get to experience the beach life, you know, fishing, salt life animals, that type thing. And it can also roll into an aquarium. If you uh, have an aquarium near you, there's all kinds of anim sea animals like that, fresh water, salt water, those type things. But marine life, Aquariums is great for children to learn more about animals, um, so make sure to check that out. I know sometimes you can touch or pet um, some of the marine life. You can also swim with dolphins and all that kind of fun stuff. So check in your area for a fun um, marine life type uh, field trip if you're studying animals in your homeschool. And if I keep pausing, I'm sorry, I broke a tooth earlier and it's kind of bothering me when I talk. So please bear with me. I am so sorry. Um, okay, next thing, your local library. Now, I know we don't have the card index that we had to go look at and Dewey Decimal System. We have the Dewey Decimal System, but the kids don't have to go look it up in the card catalog anymore. Um, but it is great for the kids to be able to see and learn the Dewey Decimal System what books go where and that type thing to help them learn where the books are on the shelf. Um, let's see, martial arts. I know our martial arts academy offers a free class if your kids want to try it. Um, I know that that's not really a field trip type thing, but it's a fun phys physical education that a lot, I know boys love all that stuff, jumping around, kicking, spinning, punching, whatever my daughter loves it too so i'm not forgetting the girls but that is a fun experience so if you have a martial arts academy call them and ask them if they offer a class i know our homeschool group got together and we did a um, class all together with just homeschool kids and the instructors and they had fun and got to try out a class and let's see the police station now i know i'm the police station the fire station city hall all those government type buildings. Um, here I am in the capital city of, I'm not in the capital city, but the capital city is close to us in Mississippi. So I can, um, we can go toward the old capital and the new capital. Um, so check that out if your kids are studying local law. Um, those type things will be fun and educational for them to learn. I know our police department does a demonstra demonstration with the dogs where they chase them and all that fun stuff. And the kids really enjoy seeing that. The fire station, they love because they get to sit in the fire truck. They get to see, ours don't have the poles because we don't have two-story fire stations here, 
but some stations do. They let them turn the sirens on, they let them see the lights, let them try on some of the jackets to see how heavy they are, and all of that fun stuff. So check with your local fire station and see what they have. Um, city Hall may not be as fun. Um, I know that in our City Hall, you get to see where our aldermen sit and that type stuff and kind of walk around because it's a new building. Um, but that's another fun thing to look at. Next is your local radio station. Now the kids and I did, uh, the whole family did a fun family homeschool interview at our local radio station. And the kids loved seeing the behind the scenes, how everything worked on the radio. So that is something that is also fun that you may not have thought of. Um, of course, fall, pumpkin patch, all those fun fall activities that you get to do. Um, get out and look at the sunflowers, the pumpkins, all of that. Check that out. Um, here's one that Bailey got to do that you may not think about, but a scuba diving class. He got to go and try out scuba diving. Our local scuba diving shop or scuba diving shop was doing a class and that was something fun that he got to go try. So we called that a field trip. It was a learning experience. In my opinion, if it is a learning experience and you get to go, we call it a field trip. Fun part about homeschooling. All right, um, let's see. Oh, when I was talking about the fire station, police station, your fire academy. That was really fun. We went on a field trip to that. We have a fire academy not too far from us. So we got to see where all the firemen train before they become firemen. The houses that they have to go in and the tall um, ladders and everything that they have to do to become a fireman, we got to see that. There was an actual class going on and we got to meet the mascot and all of that fun things. So check to see if there's a local fire academy. The kids will love that one. Let's see, the park. Now I know you're gonna say, okay, the park, but think about it, the park or a nature walk where when the leaves start changing in the fall, or in the spring when the flowers start blooming, you take your pen and paper, you take a book around and you try to name flowers and trees and all of that kind of stuff. That is a great botany class and it's fun and it challenges everybody. So when I say park, I don't mean the playground part. I mean the flowers and the trees. All right, um, children's museum. We went and did um, the children's museum and loved it. They had so many hands-on activities that the kids got to do, learning experiences, um, challenging things that they had to do, lots of STEM projects, um, lots of fun movies and things like that. So check out a children's museum if you have one of those near you. Um, let's see, I said pottery or painting class. Um, I know that is a fun thing to do, especially around Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day, a lot of places will, that do pottery will have the kids come in and they'll decorate coffee mugs or paint a picture or there's painting classes for kids that tell them step by step how to do things. So that is definitely a fun field trip to check out. Um, ambulances and EMT stations. Now here where we live, we don't have EMT stations but where I was born and where I'm from in North Mississippi, we had actual um, ambulance EMT stations where the paramedics got to, you know, kind of like a fire station is basically what it was, but it was just for the EMTs. So that was pretty fun to go visit um, and watch and see the dispatcher and all that type stuff. So that was something, if that is in your area and it's offered, check it out because it is definitely fun. The post office. The post office is fun. You get to see how they sort the mail, how they put it in the mailboxes. Um, they, will, they took us behind the counter and showed us all around how the mail comes in, how they sort it out, how it goes out for the drivers and that type stuff. And that was really, really fun to see. Um, I know that's like one of the community helper things that's super fun for younger kids. I found it e interesting. I didn't know how they did half the stuff. 
So definitely check out your post office and see if that is offered because that is another fun field trip. All right, um, we already talked about aquariums and the last one on my list is military parks. Um, you can lump that in his, into historical places, but sometimes military parks are kind of different. So just check that out. Um, lots of fun things to see. Our local military park has tons of area. You drive around in your car and look at everything that's going on. You can get out, you can let the kids run, see cannons, all of that type stuff. So definitely if there's a military park near you, check that out out. I know I went through this list pretty quick. I didn't want to drag them out, but I did want to give you some ideas of some fun field trips or some fun things to do or educational experiences that you may not have thought of. So definitely leave me a comment if you have tried any of these or if you have some more ideas that I did not mention in this 26 because I want to share all of these field trip ideas with as many people because a lot of homeschooling mamas struggle with trying to figure out how to fit a field trip or a learning experience into whether it's a science they're learning or a history or a unit study or those type things. And that's why I did this video. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.